All right, hey Sean. Hey, good to see you. Good to see you. Uh, Jess Sessler here with AETN, and tonight on AETN Presents on Front Row with Wayland Holyfield and friends. I almost said Jennings, but that's not true. Um, I'm here with Sean Camp, and uh, all you gearheads out there, uh, he's got this great guitar, and I'm sure he has a story to tell about it. Well, uh, this guitar uh, belonged to a family friend of ours named uh, Nathan Holland, who was a great guy, and he loved Jimmy Rogers music. And uh, this is kind of a Jimmy Rogers style Martin guitar. It's a triple O, triple O twenty eight VS is what the model is. It's a Martin. And, uh, and uh, our friend Nathan uh, bought this in March of '07, and uh, he passed away uh, last fall. And I bought it from his family. Uh, he, he actually used to have pickings at his house on Thornburg Mountain over in Perry County. And uh, and the first Martin guitar I ever touched was Nathan Holland's guitar. And uh, it was a it was a D35 Martin, and uh, I thought it was the, the most amazing thing in the world, and it sounded so great. And, and he ended up getting another guitar, a D41 Martin, and uh, I played that one. That was the second guitar I ever touched that was Martin. So uh, I always aspired to have a... Mm -hmm. A Martin guitar, you know, and uh, and I ended up my when I, when I was in high school, my senior year, my daddy said, uh, Nathan, sell him that D41 Martin. Uh, I'll either help you get a car or I'll help you get this Martin guitar. And so I picked the Martin and I bought the, bought that smart car, choice, smart Nathan Nathan Holland. And uh, so uh, I learned a lot at those pickings. Well, it's a beautiful guitar. Uh, so uh, let me ask you, as a guitarist. Uh, who do you prefer, Doc Watson, Chet Atkins? Who? What's your cup of tea? Well, I mean, I learned a lot from listening to Doc Watson records. And when I was a kid, that was the that was the ultimate, you know. And it's still incredible. But I I uh, I love Chet Atkins playing too. But I never could pull it off. Much, you know, he was, he was really uh, he's a more of a finger picker. But uh. Well, Sean, I appreciate you taking the time. And uh, AE10 presents on the front row with Waylon Holyfield and friends. Uh, hey, Waylon, Jeff Sessler with AE10. Uh, we're here with uh, Waylon Holyfield doing AE10 presents on the front row with Waylon Holyfield and friends. And we got a bunch of gearheads out there. And uh, again, another piece of equipment. Uh, tell us about this guitar. So this guitar is I've written most of my uh, successful songs on this guitar, and I've had it. For a lot of years, it's, a, it's an old Martin tenor, in the '50s version, and uh, it just feels like an old friend. You know, I'm not the greatest player, but I can play enough to write on it, and uh, so uh, it just feels comfortable to me. You know, probably not all these uh, around. No, not too many. That's not really a country chord. It's, it's sort <laughs> it's of a little jazz. It sounds like a diminished nine or something. But, but uh, no, um, no, it's friendly. It's friendly, and uh, uh, it's, it's the right size. Yeah, it is. You know, and, and you know, it's got four strings, and and you know, I, I had five fingers, so I got one up on it. <laughs> you got an extra. Yeah, I mean, a six-string guitar. Like, yeah, how do you play that? You only got five fingers, so and now, they're I, making, I play the five now they're making seven strings. Yeah, I know. I know. It's what are we gonna do? All right, well, I'll let you go. Thanks for talking. Hey, to my us. pleasure. Enjoy uh, helping out here at AETN. All right, Waylon Holyfield. 